Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a low impact, hit high intensity Tabata workout. You don't need any equipment for this workout. We're going to burn a lot of fat while we protect your joints. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. everyone can do. Heels up and back, warming it up. We have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We have eight sets of exercises to get through. Each set has two exercises and we'll alternate back and forth three times in each set before we move on after short rest. Let's bring the arms out and in. Up and down, heels to the front. Good. Let's just skate and swing. Shoulders nice and warm. We're starting with a squat and lunge series. And I will give you modifications if getting down deep in that squat is, is difficult. So we're going to reach down in the squat, pop on our toes, and reach. Now, if you want to do a jump squat there, you can. If you need to take the squat out, you're going to come flat back, head above your heart, down and up. Ready? We're on the clock. Here we go. Squat if you can, reach up on your toes, heels, toes. And we want to move. Bring our hands above our head like this, getting your heart rate up without having to jump. Bring it up on your toes though, activating those calves. A little bit more work. And rest. Okay, couple options. Tap back. Right there. Or alternating lunge back. You want to do jump lunges here? Go right ahead. Here we go. Look at that. Alternating. Big muscles of the lower body. You'll bring your heart rate up without jumping. A lot of muscle needing oxygen. Rest. Good. So now back to the first exercise. So that squat or hinge or jump. Three choices. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to take you right in the middle here. A low impact option with knee work. If your knees hurt though. You want to stay with keeping that bend out of the knee. Feel the heart rate up, see how that works. These muscles, we are asking for oxygen. All right, remember your options. Tap back, alternating lunge, or jump them. Here we go. Always keep your shoulders up over your hips, right here. Up to shoulders, I'm not leaning forward, which puts weight in my knee in the front. Don't want to do that. And rest. It's a tough round, right? Even though we're not jumping, it's tough. Especially right out of the gate. Get ready for those squats. Last time through these two. Here we go. Reach down, reach up. Think about weight in the heels. Down here in this squat. Rock out of those toes. Back into those heels. And rest. Nice job so far. Okay. Whew. Already starting to feel that glistening effect. Ready for the lunges. Here we go. Lunge back. Reach up, reach down, you're not squatting, 
your engine flat back, head above your heart. Don't look down at your knees. Look out and off your feet, okay? It's gonna keep that head above the heart. Starting with skaters, let's go to your right. Breaks over. Here we go. Time efficient workout. We're getting a lot of work in this 30 minutes. Swing the arms. Come on. Bigger movements. Getting lower. If you can. Just activating as many muscles as we can. Because that's getting that heart rate and that fat burning zone. Get ready to step to your right, that wide squat. It's a squat, not a lunge, so both knees bend if you're bending. Okay, here we go. Down, push it up. Abs tight. Sitting back, holding the heels. Feel it. You want a pop squat here. You want to jump. Go ahead. And rest. Good job. Back to your skaters. So that's our pattern, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Skating to your right, here we go, step it out. Swing the arms, get more people. Deep breathing hard, okay, get those lungs full of oxygen, so the heart can fill with blood, with oxygen, and send it out to these muscles. The body is an amazing thing. And rest. You think about it, you know, it really is. Deep breath, we just kind of live in our bodies. Step out in that white spot. Just think about everything working together. It's amazing. When you're taking good care of it, exercising. Your body wants to move, it really does. And wherever you're at, like you're beginning, you've been doing this for a long time, good for you. Deciding to take care of yourself. Because when you take care of yourself, you do better at everything else. You take care of your family, you do better at work, you probably sleep better. All good things, right? Brings down stress. You don't know what stress is, right? Wrong. We all have stress. Exercise is medicine for stress. And rest. Great job. All right, one more time through these. Feel it? Feel heart rate? Way up there. Good. Here we go. I'd love that we can get this heart rate up in that fat burning zone without jumping. I spent the 40s and my 50s jumping around in high impact classes. And now, I have some hip and back issues that I have to deal with, and I will, get them dealt with. But, I don't want that to happen to you. All right, try the low impact. High impact, you know, once in a while, if you're a runner, we're on a rest, by the way. <laughs> if you're a runner, you know, you don't want to be doing the high impact hit with running. You want to protect those joints. All right, cross country spear. Lift, lift, get that glute activated here. Big movements, all right? Then we have a walkout. Get ready, here we go. Lift, lift. That's tight. This is your mover of this round. Good. All right, standing at the end of your mat, however you can do this, bending down, hands down, walk it out, walk it back. We'll only get to a three, here we go. If this is too much, I want you to go to your wall and do a wall push up. Up. Get one more in here. One more. Not live. <laughs> I'll break with you one more. And up. Good. All right. So you're going up and down on the mat, even though we're not doing a lot of movement. It's that heart rate up. Get ready for that rear lift. Arms overhead. Go. Keep going, come on. Rest, all right, back to the walkout. Remember, you can go to your wall and do some push-ups here. If walking is out, it's too much of a challenge. 
you'll get there, okay? By strengthening the chest, here we go. Doing those wall push-ups. Keep exercising regularly, you will get there. All the way down, walk it out. All the way back. And then do one more. Do it quickly. Toppers running out. And up, good. All right, last round of these. Deep breath. I love the heart rate, feels good. Here we go, right leg back. We lift. Fast tight. And rest. Okay, one more time for your walk-ons. Then we get a rest. I'll actually recognize the rest on this, <laughs> this round. Ready? Here we go. Take it down. Walk it out. Plank. Back. Up and squeeze the glutes. Walk it out. One more. And rest. Nice job. Keep hydrated. And have a little fun with this next round for some boxing. Cross punch. Get a twist. So rotate, squeeze the glutes, power punch, and then we're going to take the legs to the front with a kick and punch, alternating arm to leg. We'll kick your right leg first when we get there. Right now, cross punch with your right arm. In three, two, one. This is your mover right here. Punch it, punch it. That's tight. Nice twist. Follow your hand. Go the back. Let's stretch there. Let's move. And rest. Okay, so we're going to keep your right leg. Punch your left hand, alternating. It doesn't have to be high, okay? Whatever you feel comfortable, we just want you to move. Here we go. Move. Move your abs. Hold them tight. Rotation in the core here. Get you in. Slow it down a little bit. That means I started really strong. So that's what I want you to do. 100% out of the gate. If you need to slow down as we get through the 20 seconds, do that. But keep moving. Ready? Here we go. Cross punch. One. Create a little bit of a breeze, right? Okay. Tumble a little bit of the sweat if you're glistening. You move fast like that, you get a little bit of a breeze. Cool job. All right, kicking with your right leg. Ready? You can punch. Here we go. Power. Abs tight. Make them work. Down a little. Totally okay. Deep breath. One more round of each. You can only be halfway through. It's the bottom workout. Burning fat. Ready? Here we go. Come on. I feel like I'm moving my mat across the room. I kind of am, aren't I? All right, back to the punches. Last time. Deep breath. Here we go. Punch. 30 second rest here. Push it. Nice job. There you go. You are halfway through officially. 30 second rest. Grab some water. Don't need to stretch out your legs or anything. Do that. We'll be back on the clock in about 20 seconds with a speed bag. Working the shoulders. Gonna bring the heels up and back. 
hamstring curl with your speed bag. If the legs and arms at the same time get a little tricky, I want you to just do your speed bag, okay? Here we go. Arms up. There it is. Arms go around, heel up, heel up. You get a little bit of a rhythm. A little bounce in it if you'd like. A little fun kickboxing cardio move here. I'll do a jack, knee crunch. So it's tap, crunch, tap, crunch. You want to make it high impact. Go right ahead. We're standing low impact here. Here we go. Out, crunch, out, crunch. So the leg that taps, crunches in front. Pull the abs tight right here. Pull them tight. And make a round back right there. Whoops. So many things you can do with jacks, that's fun. I know, <laughs> I say that's fun, people say. You're a little weird, they're like, I know. I do have fun, here we go. Remember your heels up and back, here we go. Ready? 
ready? Take it down. Sitting back. Hips are back. Abs are tight. Run it. Walk it. Come up a little higher if you need to. Feet tap, tap, tap. And rest. Good. Okay. Whew. How are you feeling? Gonna do it again? Last time, we know the moves. All you got. Give me all you got. Here we go. Step it out. In and reach. And rest. Good job. Whew. Feel it? I feel it. I'm hoping you feel it too. All right, feet wide, sit back, hips back. Ready, here we go. We have a rest. Now on this rest, our next two rounds are on the mat. If you want to stay up off the mat, I want you to watch me during this rest. I'm going to give you some options, okay? And rest, good. So we're starting with mountain climbers. If you're standing up, Here's your mountain climber, right there. Then we go to bicycles. You're standing up, here's your bicycle. The next round are plank jacks. You're going to go for your wall, tap, tap, just like that, okay? And the second part will be a standing crunch right there. So, you're coming down to the mat with me, come down. You're standing up, here's your ladder climb, okay? Mountain climbers. Shoulders over the wrists, walk this, one knee at a time. Run it if you'd like. It's a high impact day for you. You can do this from your knees. Just starting out. Feel that crunch. Flip it on over. We have bicycles. So think about bringing your shoulder to your knee, not your elbow. So shoulder to knee. Knees up. Here we go. Twist, twist, twist. Check your neck by looking up. Chin up your chest. Feel a great on of your chin. Keeping your neck aligned. Sweeten it up a little bit. Might as well. All right, we're here. Might as well get all the work in. I right, do my mouth climbers from this end this side. Hands right under your shoulders. One of your hands out like that. Okay, I see that a lot. Here we go. Not out here. It's much harder. Get under your shoulders. My toes off my mat because I tend to disintegrate my mats. And flip it over. Bicycles. Remember, if you're standing, you're twisting. You need a elbow. If you're standing up. Ready? Here we go. Twist it out. 20 seconds. Come on. You've got it. Good. Right. You might notice I'm not kicking too far. Working on some lower back issues in PT. So I want to. Not kick too far because it's going to pull too much on that lower back. So I'm modifying a little bit. Just starting out. Modify. Totally fine. Got injuries, you got to modify around them. Don't want to make them worse. Good. And bicycles. Remember to keep that neck straight. Eyes on the ceiling. Go. Rest is coming. Come on. All you got here. Give me all you've got. We are almost done. We have one more round of two exercises. Be higher if they need to be. And rest. Whew. All right. We got one more. One more round. We're going to go to a plank. So on the wall, I show you that. Close your arms on the wall. Nice flat back, tap out, out. Or knees, tap, tap, just like that. Then we'll 
flip over. Great, full body crunch, or if you're standing. Single knee crunch, alternating. Get your plank, and get ready, here we go. Tapping it out, tap. Abs are tight here. So not a lot of movement, right? But shoulders, triceps, biceps, chest, core, glutes, all working. So what does that mean? That means heart rate up. No jumping required. And your ass feel. Hey guys, I got the obliques. The obliques are working too. Part of the part. All right. Full crunch. Crunch. Back to neutral. Or add a kick. Crunch. Kick if you're standing. Bring your knee up, right? Crunch. Remember I told you about my back? So I'm going up a little bit. If you're just starting out, legs higher. Protects that back. You're putting it out here because you're more advanced, right? So long as you feel that back is pressed against the mat, lower back. You want to feel that to know that your back is safe. Get ready. Come up in this plank. Tap it out. Abs tight. This is harder than it looks, right? Everything working. Watch your neck. Talking to myself, too. Sometimes I give you the safety cues. It's because I'm checking my form as well. I feel something's off. Rest. All right, ready? Full body crunch. Hands behind the head, eyes on your ceiling. Knees in, kick it out. Knees in, tabletop. Kick low, in advance. Support your neck with your hands. Eyes on the ceiling keeps it safe, alignment wise. All right, we have one more of each and you're done. How about that? Okay, catch your breath, hands under the shoulders. Up we go, tap it out. All the body work, it's working. I'm tired. Are you tired? That's the point, right? That's the goal. So if we're tired, that's good. Ready? Knees up, crunch, and kick. Congratulations, you made it. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and stretch. Bring it on down, get the legs out, hands high over your head. Now let the back come off the mat naturally. Feel that nice stretch. Whew! Those ending two, a lot of abs. Bring the knees in, rocking back and forth here on the lower back. Keep your legs out again. Hands up over the head. Just roll on over. A lot of movement in this workout, so we really want to work on this back. Around the shoulders. You're coming across the shoulders here and from the tailbone up to the neck. Completely reverse this. Lift the head out of the neck, neck out of the shoulders. Round it again. Come to flat. Knees together, knees out, toes together, sorry. Rock back. Crawl your hands high over your head here. Feel the full body stretch. Good. And then bring it back to that tabletop. Let's round and flatten again. When you feel your back is loosening, and when you do those fast moves, a lot of core involved there. And flat. Good. Come on around, have a seat. If you'd like a longer stretch, I will link in right up here a uh, stretch playlist on my channel. You can flip over there. Anything from a 7 to a 20 minute stretch, you 
Don't take enough time to stretch. Other side, it's really busy. Do the same. So on a day that maybe you're not exercising, let's go through your shoulder. Take a stretch workout. Stretching is important too, flexibility, being limber. Other side. Bring your head up, drop it down. Let that neck stretch now. Come on up, take a deep breath. Exhale, big smile because you did it, congratulations. Thank you for joining me, I'll see you next time.